Hey guys, Gillian here from Thermaltake Australia and this is how to install our Tough Power SFX power supply. Your first step is removing all the cables from the wrapping and laying everything out. Now you need to plug the cables into your power supply. There really isn't any set order to plug this in, but we're going to go from left to right for clarity. First, you want to grab your Molex cable and plug that in, as well as your SATA cables. These will power your peripherals like fan connectors and your SSDs or HDDs. If you aren't using these because you have no peripherals to connect or are only using M.2s, you can simply leave this section empty. Next to that, we're putting in our CPU cable. Make sure to be using the side that has no markings on it, as the side with the CPU labeling goes into the motherboard. Across from that, we've elected to plug in our PCIe cable. This will power your graphics card. Lastly, install your 24 pin motherboard cable. Most of it will fit along the bottom, and then you simply pop the smaller chunk in the slot next to it. Next, we have to install this ATX bracket as the case we are installing this into does require an ATX size PSU. The first step is to get the included ATX bracket and screw it on through the holes on the outside via the supplied screws. Then simply attach the cases bracket on top of the mounting bracket. Once this is done, you can slide the PSU into your case and attach it with the provided screws via the mounting brackets we just installed. Now it's time to show you where these need to plug into your motherboard. Your 24 pin cable will plug in just off to the right hand side of your board. Because our Tower 100 case motherboard is flipped, our 24 pin connector is actually located at the bottom. The location of your CPU cable will more often than not be located somewhere on the top left of the board. The other end of the PCIe cable plugs into your graphics card. GPU PCIe cables come as two 6 plus 2 pin connectors. Some GPU cards will require one of these plus a 6 pin, while others only will need a single one. And some entry level cards don't require power at all. Ours will need 8 pins, so we are plugging in one 6 plus 2 pin and leaving the other side out. Your SATA cables plug into your hard drives like so. and then get tucked away somewhere in your case. And Molex will simply plug in like so. Now do a little cable management, flip the switch and your new Tough Power SFX power supply is ready to go. Alright my homies, thanks for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each time we upload. We'll see you tomorrow.